going to the Masons or... Where are those I've been hiding down in the basement. Mr. McGee, this is my daughter Susan. She was a cesarean. <laughs> How are you, Mr. McGee? Uh, Axel. Axel McGee. Are we free to go home? <laughs> home? Sure we're free to go home. Do you see what's doing out there thanks to this guy? We're liable to be here three, four days. I'm awfully sorry. I realize this is a horrible inconvenience. I think it's fun. It can be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some might see this as, as an exciting experience. Some people bought head cells. We can be worse off. This place is lovely. And what are you going to do about Seth? Seth? Oh my god. Forgive her. The panic she's completely forgotten that she gave birth twice. I wasn't even worried about Seth. He's at camp. Get Ben tomorrow. If we're not there to pick him up, what's going to happen? He'll be on supervised to live in the streets. He'll run amok. He'll rape and lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your problem. I just thought of something. Susan's getting married next week. Oh my god. That's right. I have a deposit on the hall. <laughs> um, gee, must be. You're off pages to return home then. That's a long story, Mr. Let's not discuss it. The date's been set. Well, you may have to push the date back. So you better call the Renaissance Blue out and get a deposit back. You better call Donald. He'll be worried sick. I'll call. Mr. McGee, what's the longest anyone's ever had to stay here? Um, well, we've been harboring a priest upstairs for a while. <laughs> what's a while? <laughs> oh, you know, a while. How long? <laughs> Six years? Six years? I said, let's go to Atlantic Beach. We'll swim, we'll let me go. No, my brother says, go to Europe. Maybe press the peace. He's not dead. He should be. 